Hey guys, Prop here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what you can get, um, what trolls you can get from the red cups, which are the red ones that fall out of the sky. So it's like that yellow one, and it's red, and it has kind of like a bronze cup, not this, and so it kind of looks like this if it was bronze. And so yeah, I'm going to show you what trolls you can get from it. So first off, we got Headbanger. Now, I think we can all agree this is one of the worst trolls in the game. It's super hard to jump over stuff with, and sometimes it even falls over. And so it's overall slow. Sure, it has a bunch of health, but the attacks aren't even that good, so I'm going to show some of the attacks first off we got way of the void which does a little beam out of a little void thing doesn't even do much damage it does like 100 damage maybe now spike shock it throws a bunch of spikes and it goes in a line it is decent it does about 250 i'd say which is not even that good honestly and then we got up strike my bad let me get a bit closer here you can see it kind of flings them and it does maybe 50, 100 damage. Overall, this is pretty trash. Uh, I don't even keep this. I just got this for the video. Headbanger, I'd probably rate it a 3 out of 10. Anyways, moving on. So next up, we got Infernal Troll. Now, I'd probably rate this like a 7 out of 10. It's actually really good, especially for boss battles like Tech Boss. Now, Ignition, it basically makes a big little thing around it. And it does a lot of damage. And it's, it heals you, in fact, which I can't really showcase. But it heals you about 50 per second. Then one of the sun, which is also really good. I should probably try it on that, but I don't think I can change it. That does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure it does like a thousand if you hit it directly. And then we have fire blast, which is pretty basic, but it's still pretty cool. You have to be very up close here. And you can reload it very quickly. And it kind of uh, sets the person on fire and it flings him. It's pretty good if, uh, you know, the tech minions, it's good for flinging them away. Overall, I'd probably rate this a 7.9, maybe a 7.8 out of 10. I really, really like this. It's great for boss battles, so I definitely consider to keeping Inferno Troll and maybe trying to get him. I'm pretty sure it's the rarest out of all of the blood cups, but it's actually really worth it. So next up, we got Voices. Now, Voices is actually very, very good, and I'll show you why. So if you use the Voices attack, which is number two, you can actually freeze everyone who's inside of this bubble, anyone who locks in for about 20 seconds. So uh, first up, Barrage. It's actually pretty good. It does about, I want to say, yep, 500 damage there. It's really good. Now, if I do I for nothing, you can see it can hit multiple at once, and I'd say it does about maybe 350, 350, 340, something like that. Um, so next up we got unreceived which basically makes you fly so I'm just gonna try this over here Let me walk all the way over here Then it sends you up and this is really good for trying to get cups and farm and then you can see it does a bit of damage It does maybe a hundred hundred fifty damage on the person you land on and it looks like I just got stuck but overall I'd probably rate um, Voices at maybe an eight nine maybe a nine probably like a nine point one it, It's actually pretty good and I really like voices, especially how you can also get a upgrade for voices. So overall, I'd rate it like 9.1. And so that's all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It great, uh, I greatly appreciate it if you did. And it helps me out a lot to create videos like this. And yeah, um, overall, if you want to go see more of my content, go check it out on my channel. And please subscribe. Thank you.